Depends on both of us. You know, I, I, I think it's gonna be a, I think it's gonna be a great, great, great fight. Um, he was definitely set that plan for for this fight. So I'm just one of those fans. I'm just I'm just here to enjoy myself, and my family, and my team. So in the middleweight division. Um, they call a Triple G a monster. He's, he's been looking good. He's been knocking everybody out. Do you see? Do you see any uh, flaws in his game? Do, do you think he, he just every every, every, every every everyone has flaws. Nobody's perfect. You know, nobody's perfect. We would never be perfect. But um, uh, everybody has flaws. But. You know, he's been doing what he, he, he's been doing. It's not to be valid. He's been being the guys that have been putting it for him. So, you know, when, when you when you got a winner and, and, and he's doing his job, it's like, I'm, you know, what really bad can you say about a person? You know, some people just try to dig and try to find something. They try to be the odd out of everybody else because everybody else. Oh, he's, so you got some people that try to find something. Like, oh, he ain't, you know, he's fighting this. He ain't, you know, but that's just part of life, you know. So, but uh, I've been thinking, I, I think he's been doing a great job and um, I hope he continue to, to be successful in his career. Yes. You know, I'm, as, as the third day, as today is the third day, um, I'm, I'm better. And when I first found out, you know, I, I, you know it, was, it was the most frustrating uh, I've ever been in my career. You know, it's, 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 it just, I mean, camp has started and like I said, negotiation has been going for two months now. And um, I just feel it's, it's a coward move on their behalf to to go an easier route when you already have something lined up. You know, I just, that's coward. At the end of the day, whether whether the, whether they chose the right decision to go on this, just say if they, if they, if they win, I'm going to come for him. I'm gonna get those belts. So I think it was, a, it was a promoter, of course. It was a promoter, and I don't feel. We ain't gonna go on out, but it definitely was a promoter. I don't, I don't really blame too much for a lot. I think it's, it's a promoter. I think it was definitely Captain one, and um, just, just, just go on easy, you know. Which, you know, what can I say? You, you just, I don't feel you do business like that. You know what I'm saying? I feel if you got something lined up, take that. You would have made more money my way, and then you would have you would have fought for the WBC belt. You know what I mean? You know, so you know, but but they already know what would have happened. But don't worry, because like I said, I'm coming for it. No matter who, whatever what those belts, whoever hands touches them when it's time for it to come, I'm gonna take it. Now, a lot of people say a lot of people don't know that on social media, they think it was you. Right, of you know, course. And then the phone came out, you know, but, it's like, oh, Wilder don't want Beckett right now. But that's, that's what happened when you when you get when you get these writers uh, that write well, how they feel because everybody in this room not for the until well and I know that you know what I mean I know it and I and I post that way you know Dan Ray be one of the guys you know and, and when when people read stuff about different things people you know when people read things they take they they take it and run with it you know but you know it's a, I feel it's time out for a lot of things I think enough is enough. And, and that's why I'm calling out every every heavyweight in the division, every top guy, you know. Be about what you say. I'm I'm, I'm ready for whoever. I'm, I'm done playing around with anybody, you know. And I'm the champion of the world. I'm ready for whoever. I, I don't I don't I don't have to get ready because I'm already ready. You know, it's enough is he say, she say, this is that. You know, my team behind me. Whatever I say, they behind me 100. percent so I'm ready, you know, so of course it's been on his, like I said, why, why would you need five, six months to prepare for me? You know, it, it don't take that long. Two months is the max. A month is the minimum. You know, I don't think it take that much putting a wear and tear, you have me spark, because let's say you have four or five spark partners coming in, tag teaming you. They already putting wear and tear on your body if you're taking abuse in the, in, the, in, in the ring. So then when you finna get to an actual fight, you really ain't no good, really. You know, especially with a guy against like me, you really ain't no good. You know, if y'all go back and look at my my percentage of punches I throw and the accuracy that I throw, you would look and see that I'm up the floor with Mayweather. I'm at 50% of accuracy in my punches. Sugar Ray Leonard called me a middleweight. My last fight, I threw more punches in that fight than 
than, than Fury and, 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 and Klitschko put together in there. I throw, I throw punches, and, it's, and the thing about it is accurate. My accuracy is none other than any heavyweight in this division. But people, you know, like I said, and this, this media round fight is turning to something else. I'm just one of those real fighters that I speak how I feel. I don't care who's in the room. I'm going to tell you how I feel. You don't like it, then hey, sign, do me a favor, sign the waiver, like I said, and you get in that ring. Deontay, <laughs> we spoke about your possible opponents at length yesterday. It was Stoka, Shannon Briggs. Um, can you give us a pecking order of guys that you personally would want? Maybe not that actually will come true, but that you would want to be in the ring with? At this point in time, man, you know, I'm, I'm on the, the the internet trolls of fighters, which is, of course, the Amir Mansours and, of course, the Shannon Briggs of the world, you know, and I actually called my people when I found out all this chaos has happened. So I said, you know what, who would be, who would be good for the show since he's a New York boy, since he's in the Brown River, Brooklyn area? Let's get Shannon Briggs. That'd be the number one in your pecking order for you this know, Brooklyn You know, fight. it's a lot of things, but it's a lot of things. Look, when you've been a champion, you must fight ranked people. Shannon Briggs is like in the 30-something. You know, I would love to, to go to the body, sanctioned body and say, let's overrule this one time or something like that. But when we pass, when we surpass that, we're gonna see if he's available. Of course, he's available unless he say he he's tied up, <laughs> which we wanna. Why would you be tied up? You ain't got nothing going on. The third thing would be would he accept the offer that we give him? Because Shannon in Shannon's mind, he feel he's the biggest. And like you said, he said he's still the real champ. Which and in my which have we we look back, you know, you only had the belt short period of time, brother. You know, so you know, you you're not a champ no more. You use a uh, used to be. Now another thing, the ultimate thing about this, can he pass the drug test? And I don't think he would. So it kind of, no matter how bad I would want, you know, for him doing all this talking and stuff like that, how bad I want him, but I don't think he, all those things, I don't think he would pass. Past four out of five things. What do you think you would have passed the drug test because of the way he looked? Come, come on, man. man he got history. This is he got history. And when people got history, sometimes history repeats itself. I have not seen this man in Atlanta, and, and and a couple of months later see him again. I'm the best of my life. Man, why you? You know why he always saying this? Why he always got rage? That stuff give you rage, man. That stuff give you. And so so. So he can't, he can't feel bad when people question that or whatever because when you have history doing something, you know, we all know no matter what we do, no matter how we may change our future, the past will always hunt us. And that, that, would, that would, you know, you, you, he's, he's such an angry guy. He's such in such rage. And if he is, we die. We, we don't know if he's if he doing anything or not, but if he is, for his health's sake, he should stop. But I would love to, you know, like I said, I would love to. I would love to whip his ass right here in New York. <laughs> I would love that. Because like I said, I'm at a point in my life, this stage right now, especially with all this going on, where I am mad. I am ready to whoop some ass. I feel sorry for whoever the opponent will be January the 16th. But that's just the start of it. And like I said, when I speak, I feel it inside. I am mad, I'm ready for him level, and I pity the fool that can be So what, whoever it ever may be. So I just want him to climb, I want him to get in the ranking so, I can, so he can be a, a choice. That ain't, it, we, that's easy money for me. That's easy money for me. I'm gonna put him in the hospital like like uh, Vitaly did, but this time he gonna stay in there. Yeah, I'll tell you. you hear that shit? <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, such a rich history of heavyweight boxing here in New York City. How does it feel to be a part of that? Most definitely. Most definitely. That's why I'm excited about coming here uh, January the 16th to display my talent here and be a part of that, that rich history and 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 probably make this a, a, my, my, my home away from home. You know, Alabama will always be my home and we'll always continue to have shows there. But um, I want this to be my home away from home. Like I said, the Barclays Center is wide open for somebody to take over that, just like Florida took over Vegas. At the MGM yeah, Grand. Now we got the Barclays Center. Like right in, right and what 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 better way to have a heavyweight to take it take over? 
Yeah, yeah, I, I can do. I can go. Well, Brooklyn's fond of adopting people like they have kid chocolate. Correct. Of course. You might hear the Barclays Center multiple times. You become another Brooklyn champion. Dark brown. So speaking on the topic, who do you hold as far as heavyweights go? Uh, to that standard of uh, the great Brooklyn yeah, heavyweights, you know, we got Tyson, we got Ray Poe, Floyd Patterson. All those guys, man. What was your personal favorite? Yeah. You actually took something out of the book, maybe. Uh, I mean, when you look at when you look at all of them, hands down, you gotta say Mike Tyson. Man. Look what he's done throughout his career, you know. At the age of 19, he's still, built, you know, he was he was known to be the most fearful man in boxing. You know, he done a hell of a job. And I'm a big fan of knockouts and, and going in and having that mentality of nobody is not going to beat me. You know, and going in and doing what he's done, you know. You have to look at him, you know. So my, my people would be, um, if somebody you get from, originally from, you know, from New York and, and, and did that, yeah, Mike Tyson. How would you describe your power? You know, it's a huge power. Over like literally, you have a ninety percent ratio above above ninety percent knockout. How would you describe your power in comparison to a guy like Mike Tyson? I don't know, man. You know, what's my, your power like? My, my power, I'm still yeah. trying to discover what, what what's the extent to it. You know, sometimes I get scared of my own power. You know, I don't, I still don't know the full potential of what I have. You know, especially when I when I when I throws it in the, in, the, in the proper technique of throwing it, you know. It, it, but, yes, I, 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 I can't say. I really can't say. Of course, I'm, a, I'm a, one of those type of people that I don't want to belittle myself with nobody. You, I, I'm always going to be that person that feel like I'm the best. And that's what I, that's what I train for. That's what I, that's why I want to be the best, you know. Time, when time, when time come about, you know, some of these – the, the former guys, they got to understand that as the years develop, all the technology they have, you're always going to find somebody that's going to surpass what you've done in a company and what they should be proud of. They should be happy with that. You know, your, your record and your, your, your stature of what you built is not going to stay the same because future, future holds great things for people. And I want to be the one that surpasses everybody, not just Mike, not just Ali, not Lenny, Holyfield. I want to I surpass all of them. So, Maybe in the future we have guys coming up that say they want to beat me, and they beat them, and I'd be happy to see that. It's just like the the dealing that was dealing with uh, LeBron James and, and Michael Jordan, you know, and it was a big controversy against who's the best, you know, you know, you know, we we can take that different situation, different things. We can say, all right, he the best, and he the best, but you know, as as life goes on, the future goes on, you're always gonna have somebody that 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 goes surpass. You, you know, How right, one more take, one more question. Did you take it as um, Fury called you a basketball player mm -hmm. as an insult? What's your mm -hmm. reaction to that? No, it's not an insult. I am a basketball player. I still <laughs> play basketball. I know. So he said it as an insult. Like, yeah. why would you think that would be an insult? It's not an insult. Yeah. You know, I, even if I wasn't a basketball player, that thank you. You know, um, that's why players make a lot of money. Yeah, you know, I can be a golf player, tennis player. I can even be a soccer player. But when it's come the night of that fight, there ain't gonna be no playing in that ring. And that's what I'm all about. All right, so let's get a, a bomb squad instead of a let's go champ. BOMB SQUAD! <laughs> <laughs> Man, I made the clock.